see about QTL analysis using QGIN software. QTL trade locus is a locus which correlates with the variation of a quantitative trade in the phenotypic data of a population of organisms. QTL are mapped by identifying which molecular markers correlates with an observed traits. Why we need QTL analysis is helpful in assessing possible number of loci, their distribution in the genome, equality of efforts and manner of the action. DNA markers are very useful for information about number and position of QTL because they are highly polymorphic, abundant and co-dominant in nature. These are the statistical methods available for QTL analysis. First one is single marker analysis, simple interval mapping, composite interval mapping, multiple interval mapping. The first step is to download and install the QGIN software to see that you have the java development kit installed if you don't you will need to download it after the installation next you need to launch the data file that you will work with data file consists of three sections header section locus section and trade section in header section describes the experiment that means study name the population type mating stream and symbols for the genotypic at a locus next section is locus section Locus section provides the genotypic data for the markers that will be, be used for the analysis. In locus section, first we have to type the marker name, that means marker label, then the chromosome number, then the position of the chromosome. After that, we have to type the genotypic data. In the genotypic data, A denotes the parent 1 and B denotes the parent 2 and H denotes the hybrids. The trait section provides the phenotypic of each individual in the population. The name of the trait start each line. The second symbol in the each line is either N, O or M. This designates whether the data is nominal, ordinal or metric. Missing data are represented by a period. This is a QGIN software. Analysis of phenotypic data. To load the data into QGIN, go to File load data find your file in your designary system and click on open this will launch a data manager panel inside the main QGIN window you will see three tabs in the right panel of the window tray chromosome in Moongbin we have 11 chromosomes this contains the data about 11 chromosomes then markers data the first step here is to investigate the phenotypic distribution for your population in the right panel you will see a mini version of it to see the data in more detail go to analysis and trade analysis this gives the more data graphical representation and this one gives the uh, details about the traits Trade analysis gives the descriptive statistics, it gives the mean, variance, maximum and minimum and normality test. Now let us do a QTL analysis. To begin the analysis, you go to the analysis, QTL mapping, drop down menu. As with other QGIN function, this action will launch the QTL mapping window. The first step is to select the chromosome. The next step is to perform a QTL analysis. To do this, you must select the trait to be analyzed in the trait section of the display. We need to select a specific type of analysis. Examples, single marker regression, simple interval mapping and composite interval mapping. Now let us do a single marker regression. Single marker regression look at each individual marker and essential performs a one way analysis of variance multiple statistics can be collected here if you select a single marker regression in the right side panel you have a multiple statistics that can be reported for this analysis let choose r square and add effective that means additive effect r square values denoted in y axis these values are then connected by a line the lower portion shows the additive effort for each marker. 
A positive value means the presence of allele from a particular parent increase the value of a phenotype. A negative value means the phenotype from a specific parent decrease the phenotype value among the line in the population. Although this provide a graphical representation, the results of a single marker regression are typically presented in a table. The QGIN results can be saved in a text format and then copied into and display in the software like MS Excel. To do this, you select File, Export Text to Clipboard from the QTL Mapping window. Then open MS Excel and paste the data into a worksheet. Remembering that this data set contain marker along a single chromosome in the correct map order. You should notice that almost all of the markers are significant. Therefore, we need to determine if all of these markers have an independent effect. Whether they all are part of one or several QTL and what is the markers that border the one QTL. To address this, further analysis, simple interval mapping and composite interval mapping will be performed. Simple interval mapping, again go to the right panel of the QTL mapping window, deselect single marker regression and then click on plus simple. Next to simple interval mapping, this is a simple interval mapping function. When it is expanded, you will see the different types of test statistics for this QTL mapping approach. To perform the actual QTL mapping, you then select specific statistic, select the LOD statistic and the data will be analyzed to discover QTL region for this data set. As with all analysis in QGIN, you can save the data and paste into MS Excel for viewing. Whereas the test statistics were reported for each marker in the simple regression analysis table. With interval mapping, those statistics are reported every 2 cm organ. Why 2 cm organ? That is the stepwise interval for the analysis. Here you can see two peaks, a major peak on the left end and the minor peak on the right end. The way to calculate the significant LOD value is to perform a permutation test. To perform the test, select Resampling Permutation for the menu part of the QTL mapping. This will open a dialog box. The box is already set to perform the test based on the QTL mapping method and reported the test statistics LOD value that was used in your original analysis. If LOD value is greater than 3, it has a QTL effect. VIG SNP 601 locus have a QTL effect that, that means LOD value is greater than 3. A position of this markers is 122. Using another feature of QGIN, we can also determine the distance between two markers. In QGIN, we can able to load more than one data file. QGIN is a one platform to perform a mini statistical and multiple statistical analysis. Thank you.